can match with, well, this piece has three stats on it, and this piece has, you know, four, four stat, you know, bonuses on it, or this has one stat that's this and another. That's not the focus. Armor is supposed to be armor. It is supposed to protect you. It is supposed to, you know, with the years uh, system, have at least one resist uh, to, uh, uh, yeah, to it. Uh, but don't expect there to be heavily stat-driven armor. I've said that, you know, right from the get-go. Uh, question about uh, adding a system to modify armor besides dying. Yes, absolutely, 10x. We would like to do that. A uh, question about any spellbook news? Uh, not yet. Uh, we've uh, actually uh, spent a little bit of time uh, last week working on some of the uh, first concepts to show you guys. Uh, oh, boy, the, uh, your realm will not hand out armor I've, and weapons. I've been very clear about that. Only in the beginning, only for the new players, or in the case of things going badly for the realm uh, in terms of not having enough crafters. That's not what they're supposed to hand out. Uh, again, crafters, you know, your gear, almost all of it, 99% probably, is going to come from crafters. A uh, good question regarding uh, will crafters have to ha harvest cotton or to make bolts of cloth uh, from uh, Olivec? Uh, hopefully, that is, that is indeed how it works out. Though, of course, they can just buy it. Drunken God, are we going to have an armor preview system? I somewhat hope so. Play vinyl. Uh, well, you're welcome. Uh, again, a uh, question about end game rewards and affecting crafters. Um, like I've said, guys, again, the king, the realm is not going to be hang handing out progression items. They can't be. That would hurt our crafters. Question from Tiggs about uh, armor pieces. Uh, bef uh, what's the. Uh, amount of damage that they'll take uh, before they start uh, to deteriorate. Don't know yet. We'll be working that out over the next uh, 18 months and beyond. We certainly do not want you uh, to have to uh, go out and fight and then immediately come back and repair your armor. Go out to fight, immediately repair your armor. That's not very fun. A uh, question about obtaining very uh, super rare item from Tizoy. Crafters, man. That's how you do it. Question from Donnie. Will mage armor or other armor affect uh, some of the racial look? Well, sure, of course. I mean, you're going to have to cover up uh, some, some bits of you at times. Uh, that just goes with, um, you know, the uh, territory. Uh, on RPG, a uh, question about resistance impacting your armor wear and tear. Yes, absolutely. A uh, question uh, from um, 
uh, CB1. Will mages have the same mechanics like Dark Age, can't cast while being meleeed, but devastating when ignored? I think the you know, Dayox system was sort of even a little bit more complicated than that, though. That covers some of it, certainly. I think we have our own kind of unique take. Uh, ben explained uh, during, um, I think it was uh, the newsletter, uh, explained the uh, basics of the uh, interrupt system. So I can say the quite easily uh, that it is not the same as Dark Age of Camelot. Uh, there are going to be some similarities to the magic system. Uh, probably some, but some uh, to other systems as well. Mostly from the beginning to the system I wrote, you know, decades ago uh, for uh, my first month. Uh, will there be a sophisticated looking uh, Viking mage armor? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that was just one fun concept that came out uh, during uh, Sandra and Michelle's uh, concept time. Uh, we will certainly have, uh, Vikings will have more than uh, what you saw today to choose from. I just thought that was a really cool, you know, jumping off point. Uh, will May drama glow in the dark? Uh, generally, no. Uh, unless it is enchanted, uh, specifically to glow in the dark or it's lit up by spells. You know, for example, the ear system. Uh, question about mages and warriors, will they be able to affect uh, each other with a you know, precise swing? Uh, that'd be great. You know, certainly we have the air system, uh, which sounds like it applies just to uh, spells, but of course it doesn't. Oak Blade, uh, class specific armor will still be in. Yes and no. Yes, if you want to wear the armor, a uh, certain armor that is designed, yes, you can wear it. You are not forced to wear it. Uh, the choice is yours. Well, a uh, question from uh, Kalmos. Uh, will repairs eventually destroy armor? Uh, generally, uh, armor is not, uh, same with weapons, they're both not uh, supposed to last forever. Got to keep the crafters happy. Will crafters have their own form of mage armor? Uh, great, thanks for that question, Red Galaxy. Um, actually, uh, that's something we've mentioned, or actually shouldn't say mentioned, talked about in the studio. Uh, somebody who was, uh, you know, a backer of crafters thought that that would be a good thing to have, too. Uh, from Shindoras, how uh, far will Crafter be able to customize the outcome of his armors? Uh, that depends on how far we uh, can go with the system. I certainly would like them to be able to customize their armor more than uh, other games. Uh, Sacrex, yes, a mage will be able to wear medium heavy armor. Absolutely. Said the same thing on the forums. <laughs> and you know that from reading my posts. If you want to go out there in plain armor, you can. I'm not going to stop you. The game won't stop you. You might not like the outcome, but you can do it if that's what you want. Uh, oh, great question uh, from Adri. I'm worried about clipping. So are we. It's something that we've uh, talked about here. So uh, it is definitely uh, top of mind. Uh, 
Uh, question from the rats. So armor stacks such as an undercoat and overrobe. Yes, armor stacks. Uh, it certainly uh, works the same way for uh, fighters. And for archers and every other class. Uh, I would love to tell you more about crafting a fine piece of mage armor, but in all honesty, uh, we haven't spent a lot of time uh, figuring that out. Uh, we're work concentrating on the warrior, uh, or I should say the combatant stuff first, uh, and crafting will come after. We have to figure out the, um, I mean, if you look at it, at least I think logically, uh, we have to lay out the armor, we have to lay out the weapons, we got to lay all that stuff out and uh, make that work. And then once we know exactly how it's going to work and uh, we're happy with it, then we can uh, lay out uh, how they make it. Uh, will the mage have uh, shields? Uh, yes, the mage will have shields. Currently, they have walls. Uh, shields and things like it are in the mix. Oh, uh, from... Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm terrible with names, sorry. Um, asking uh, For people asking a question uh, that they already know the answer to, um, no, I know that. Uh, I just know that uh, Sacrix, uh knows the an knew the answer, at least I thought he did, uh, to that question. Because uh, I do talk about that uh, a lot on the forums. I know a lot of the guys here aren't on the forums, and a lot of times you're asking questions for people on the forums. I just couldn't resist. Uh, okay, uh, from Sacrix, will the year's system uh, location be fixed in all three realms? Most likely, because that's the easiest, cheapest, and safest way to do it. Um, you know, I don't think it would uh, make a lot of sense to spend a ton of time uh, for different tech uh, to figure out what, uh, you know, lights up. Will RNG uh, play a role in crafting the cavity? Yes, it will. Uh, would it be insane? I would hope not. I mean, you don't want to make crafting, uh, at least not in this game, it, it has to work every time. Uh, you sit down, you try to make something complicated, and it works. Um, so there has to be some risk, just like there is for the combatants. Uh, I don't think it will be insane. I don't want it to be insane. We have a system where, you know, obviously, uh, the crafters will not be crafting thousands of items, you know, to uh, go up a level. Uh, so keeping that in mind, we certainly wouldn't want a system where, let's say you spent, or your character spent, the equivalent of hours on every piece of armor. And I'm not saying they will, just using this as an example. Uh, and if there was a high failure rate every time, then crafters would hate that and leave. So do I think the RNG should play a role? Yes. Should it be insane? No, absolutely not. Uh, question from Tizoy. Uh, weapons, staffs, anything to make mages unique uh, looking? Well, actually, that's kind of funny because the document I'm working on act, uh, right now uh, talks about mage weapons. So the answer is yes. Red Galaxy about overly RNG crafting is a nightmare. I agree, especially when you're not a game where you are trying to make, uh, again, thousands of items to level up. Uh, now it looks we don't know how many pieces will make up an armor set. We have um, what our current limitations are, and we're going to keep looking at them and seeing if.